this tutorial video is going to go through the installation of the uh, porous microstructure analysis software or Puma. Now Puma is a software um, to do material response simulations or material property calculations based on a materials microstructure typically in order to extract effective material properties of a material from x-ray microtomography imaging. So we've we've really done our best, the development team of Puma, to make the installation as, as easy as possible. Um, we're painfully aware of how hard it is to install most scientific software, and so we've, we've really tried to avoid that. Um, with that in mind, there are two different ways of installing Puma. The first uh, sort of most straightforward way, which is what I'll talk about in this video, is installing Puma using Conda. Now, Conda is a... Um, Conda is a tool to, saw, uh, to to manage environments in order to make sure that between different systems, uh, software runs smoothly. Um, because we use Conda, really the only the only uh, dependency that Puma has before the Conda install can go forward is a distribution of Conda. There are two different main distributions of Conda. There's Anaconda and Miniconda. Now the way to know if you have um, Conda installed is to open up a terminal. And once you've opened the terminal, you'll see on the left-hand side next to your username, this base, if you have Conda. That base means the environment that is currently active. So if there's nothing here, then you probably don't have Conda. And if you want to check, just type in Conda. And if it says command not found, then that means you do not have Conda. So if Conda is not on your system, what you're going to want to do is from our installation instructions, which are available on the NASA Puma GitHub. So just github.com slash NASA slash Puma. Um, go to the link here for Anaconda installation. And for the different systems of Mac, Linux, uh, et cetera, it is, uh, the installation of Anaconda is, is pretty straightforward. So once you have a, uh, a version of Anaconda or Miniconda installed, open up a new terminal and you should see this base here to the left. Uh, from that point, we can move forward. And the next steps are uh, exactly the same whether you're running on Mac or whether you're running on uh, any kind of Linux distribution. It's just going to be one line, which is right here. And this is just going to go to the Conda Forge repository and get the version of Puma, version 3.1.0 in this case, that has a recipe on Conda Forge. So paste that line over and uh, click enter. Now when you hit enter, it may take some time and it may just hang here for a while. Just be patient. Um, uh, don't don't kill the installation uh, mid, uh, mid install. Just hit enter and then uh, give it, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Probably won't take anywhere near that long and the installation should go through. So I'm gonna go ahead and click enter and then I'll probably skip ahead to where, um, to once the installation's done. Okay, so the installation looks like it's finished. Uh, at this point, all you have to do in order to launch the Puma GUI, and then I'll, at this point, go in other tutorials through the actual functionality of Puma. But uh, since we use the Conda as a way of managing the environments, we've created a new environment called uh, Puma. So I'll just open up a fresh terminal to show you. Just open up any terminal. You say Conda activate Puma. Now the environment here on the left is showing Puma. And then you will just type in Puma GUI and hit enter. And then here you go. The Puma GUI uh, is uh, displayed. Um, we'll just create, uh, create some fibers, create a quick 3D rendering. There you go. All right, so in the next videos, I'm gonna go through the actual, um, all the various functionality in the Puma software. 
Now, if the install installation instructions here using Conda Forge did not work for you for some reason, then what I want you to do is the following. I want you to just make to make sure that uh, the Puma environment is cleared out. Follow the instructions for uninstalling Puma, which is Conda remove dash y dash dash name Puma all. And then after you're done with uninstalling Puma, um, go to the other installation video where we talk about installing Puma from uh, the sources and see if that works for you instead. Now, if the Conda Forge install does not work for you, please reach out to us um, because we wanna make sure that this works on every system. If you're gonna reach out, reach out to either myself, Joseph Ferguson, or uh, Federico Cimarraro, who is the other main developer of the code.